In order to fully understand the ancient history of Sri Lanka, it is advisable to visit not only Sigiriya but the other four important sites of the country. The enigmatic rock of Sigiriya is perhaps Sri Lanka's single most dramatic site. To see the ruins of an ancient civilization and wall paintings on top of the rock, we had to climb a series of vertiginous staircases attached to sheer walls. We passed a series of fascinating frescoes and a pair of colossal lion's paws carved into the bedrock. Sigiriya is considered by the locals the eighth wonder of the world. The view of Sigiriya astonished us. The fortress complex includes remnants of a ruined palace, surrounded by an extensive network of fortifications, vast gardens, ponds, canals, alleys and fountains. We were told that the buildings and gardens of Sigiriya show that their creators used unique and creative technical skills and technologies. The gardens of Sigiriya are among the oldest landscaped gardens in the world. We saw water gardens, cave and boulder gardens and terrace gardens. The western wall of Sigiriya was almost entirely covered by frescoes created during the reign of Cassiapa. Eighteen frescoes have survived to this day and they are fascinating. After climbing almost 1,300 steps, we can assure you that the unique frescoes on the walls and the surrounding landscapes viewed from this height make the effort truly worthwhile. Polonaruva was an ancient capital city of Sri Lanka. There are many similarities between Polonaruva and Angkor Wat in Cambodia. In front of the ancient palace, there are a lot of artistic details in the ruins of the royal court. There are many effigies in the city among the fascinating ruins, including a carving of Buddha and some ancient Hindu temples in the ruined city. The city of Polonaruva was named the capital of Sri Lanka by its first king, Vihayabaho I, who moved the capital from Anuradhapura to Polonaruva. The structural techniques of this period were the same as those of the Anuradhapura period. Visiting Polonaruva helped us to understand better the history of Sri Lanka with all its great edifices, palaces, ornaments and symbols. We couldn't visit Sri Lanka without stopping to admire the great ancient city, which changed dramatically the history of the country. 800 years ago, Polonaruva was ruled by kings and was a thriving commercial and religious center. We admired tombs and temples, statues and stupas. Although nearly 1000 years old, Polonaruva is much younger than Anuradhapura and generally in better repair. Polonaruva is a historic bull place with lots of religious artifacts. This is a very large area and to see all the items it can be very tiring in the hot sun. Therefore, it is advisable to carry water and parasol. 
The dress code applies to temple ruins as to living temples. Polonaruwa consists of more than 30 significant buildings and statues, most enclosed within the ancient walls. This vast site is so complex that to best understand it, we had a professional guide. He explained and showed us the sites and offered us an informative running commentary. The major sites are grouped into several areas, each one separated by a few kilometers. Each area in and of itself is also very large. There are a few shady places here and there, but most of the sites are very exposed, so also be prepared for a lot of sun. There are so many interesting things to see here. Temples, statues, tombs, moonstones, guard stones, and structures which amazed us. This is a massive heritage, and we had to explore it in one single day. So, we had to select points of interest and to prioritize each challenge. This is why we read a lot about Polonaruva before our trip. Galvihara is a rock temple of Buddha situated in the ancient city of Polonaruva. Galvihara consists of four cave shrines. I was very impressed with the dimensions of the statues and the unique postures of Buddha. Galvihara consists of four caves. Cave of Vyadaras, excavated cave. Cave of Standing Image and Cave of Reclining Image. Although the brick walls of these portion shrines had collapsed centuries ago, the foundations are the evidence that each statue was separated from one another. The Standing Buddha is 7 meters tall. The Reclining Buddha is 14 meters long. And the other two images are both of the seated Buddha. The one in the small rock cavity is smaller and of inferior quality. Polonaruwa is a World Heritage Site and that the place is truly spectacular and well worth of, to visit. We would strongly recommend spending a day visiting this spectacular and unique place.